Welcome to the Awkward Zoo. I'm Randy, and this is Just Listen Podcast. And I'm back. Um, yeah, so I have next um, series, next set of episodes planned and ready to go. And so I'm going to start rolling and start cranking those out again. Um, again, uh, we're, it's going to be a slow roll. Um, episodes will be every two weeks. Um, we'll see. Hey, uh, <laughs> but last time, it just episode a week is just too much. Um, only has so many ideas. Um, so the next set is all ready to go and raring, fired up. But first, update i have a job now um i'm working in full time um, and so yeah so that's going on um twitch uh as of right now oh um it's gonna the schedule is gonna be changing up a bit um uh we'll be uh, streaming uh mondays monday mornings things um yeah, I'll be streaming Monday mornings and Tuesday mornings, things and yeah, uh, those days, um, Mondays, um, board game Mondays might come back. Um, we'll see as I try to get things set up. Um, I'm still working on the camera for some reason. Um, the camera like wants to die on me and not work. Um, after a while when streaming, but it works perfectly fine when I'm recording. So is that. That's something I gotta figure out, because uh, <laughs> it's like it's the same camera. Um, but then again, I'm not recording very long, um, so it might be the time length um, because streams are generally longer. Um, but yeah, so oh, I'll be streaming Monday mornings, Tuesday mornings, and Saturday nights is a is puzzle day or puzzle night. I was puzzled and chill, and I am planning on, um, yeah, so just playing puzzle games, games, uh, yeah, and just chilling, playing puzzle games, come hang out, uh, that happens Saturday nights, um, it used to be Saturday mornings, uh, but I work Saturdays now, so it's gonna be after work, so that'll be around... So Monday, Tuesday is going to be around 9 um, a.m. CST, and then the Saturday is going to be it's going to be around 7 7:30 ish CST uh, for puzzles and chill. Um, so that's that's what's going on. Um, and, and so let's head to it to chew on this. Um, so today's chew on this, I'm going to be talking about trends and um, what I see is going to be happening or is going to grow um, in the future and as it kind of already kind of sprouted or kind of grew in popularity during, during the pandemic and that is uh, delivery and food, um, cooking at home and delivery. Uh, more specifically and so that's like like subscription um, cooking subscriptions like uh, Blue Apron, HelloFresh, uh, Daily Harvest it's not well Daily Harvest isn't really much cooking um, it's it, it's like smoothies and breakfast um, but but yeah so stuff like that uh, subscription cooking and as well as like subscription based groceries Means you have imperfect foods, um, farm box direct, um, grocery stores have started doing deliveries. Um, you have app like Instacart as well. Uh, these are just gonna go, I believe, more in popularity as people start to cook more at home um, um, and learn to cook at home. I feel like these things are gonna grow in popularity as well as um, as restaurants um, during the pandemic a lot of them have kind of started or launched because some of them have already been kind of in the works and preparing in these things but then the pandemic kind of pushed it forward and then some restaurants just kind of 
and I put these things together. Um, DIY kits, right? And um, and it's for like different things and stuff. Uh, but I feel like my hope um for restaurants is is that they will continue to do this, whether it's in a smaller capacity, even in after you know, the craziness of the pandemic um that they in some capacity um keep on doing it and um and um and so then i encourage you to go and find uh local restaurants uh, and, and support them and get these kits and and or just support them and get food for them um, um but yeah um if you're in the dallas area uh here's some restaurants that still have these kits or do these things um, um bijou bijou pastry she has a frozen to oven so you can buy frozen pastries and bake them fresh -ish at home um asian mint um has some kits sushi de hand roll well, has um, um tamaki boxes hand hand roll boxes where uh, uh, everything's kind of just prepped for you and you just make your own hand rolls um, um, buzz brews has um, some kits uh, whiskey cake um, has some kits as well well just to name a few there's many others there's but uh, you can look around um, some department store also has kits um, if you search just DIY food kits you'll, you'll get a couple of department stores that will be selling kits as well um, but but more importantly um, support local businesses uh, <laughs> it, it's tough out there uh, considering I just it got back into work and I work in the food industry it is it's definitely um, rough out there um, so I encourage y'all to go and support our businesses local locally um but yeah um, um my hope is to see in this kind of growing trend and not just like something that came out of a necessity during the pandemic but to see this grow um i would love to see more more like restaurant food kits and and other things where people can learn to cook at home um um, but then kind of take out the hassle of measuring and kind of organizing a, um, as well uh, but yeah um, the future of true on this after this is it will be we're going to be looking into seasonings and we're going to be talking about seasonings things and so that's kind of the next um, series that I was talking about uh, earlier uh, for true on this we're going to be covering seasonings and so this is your spice your herbs herbs salt pepper pepper is a spice um we'll we'll get into that and um sugar as well uh, not necessarily uses of sugar but like the different types of sugar um but but yeah so that's going to be true on this for the future okay now let's head to flip the script so flip the script um today we're kind of gonna uh, backtrack um again and i have a kind of a series as well for that and uh, going alongside um um chuan this is so having two series kind of mini series going on in those segments and but for th today's flip the script is kind of more so of like the heart and the reasoning um behind uh flip the script if um <clears throat> And, and that is is to present and to show uh, um show the gospel the show oh 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 god and his character in a way that is um understandable to other people because right not everyone's going to know the bible not everyone's going to understand um and um the characteristics things, and the nuances is of god uh, but by presenting things that are familiar by presenting things that people may come to understand and know they may, they may see um the character of god uh, um 
and that's from um, a person who is not um, a Christian and, and then for the Christian to help them see like like this isn't just uh, mass media multimedia isn't just um, entertainment isn't just information isn't just advertising isn't just uh, yes those things but you can also see the in the hand of God and creation and everything in it um, Romans 1 20 says ever since the creation of the world his invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made and um, Psalms 148 talks about how creation praises God, um, God. and so and so like I guess a believer you know, to kind of look and peer and see a, a God is in creation that God is in everything and, um, and to see the, the, his characteristics to see his things and to kind of see the world in that kind of biblical worldview no matter what it is whether it's music movies TV shows those um, those entertainment and or other things in work um, and the sciences is to be able to see the kind of the characteristics the attributes of God um, which is kind of interesting uh, like kind of cutting religion and God aside I, um, I feel like it's harder to believe that there isn't a creator, right? That there isn't someone who created things, right? Even in science, will tell you you can't have something from nothing. It had to come. Something comes from something, right? I, you can't just make nothing into something, and, and yet they say everything just kind of poof into being right um, everything that we have is created yeah, the, the cup is made of glass even then you can break it down into the different elements into the different molecules you can break everything down into atoms even including like life including animals including us you know, as you can break us down to DNA hey and so oh everything Thing is shaped and is formed from something uh, and yet yet how did that something come to be it can't just poof into being there had to be something that created it right I, whether it is a god or whether it is some sort of alien or something else else, else something had to create it into existence it can't just kind of just poof right nothing just spontaneously disappears nothing just spontaneously appears here's right in in chemistry you balanced chemical equations why because molecules atoms don't just disappear atoms don't just appear here you balance the equation to make sure like whatever happened on on one side uh, you're accounted for on the other and that's why you balance the equation and so and so like like this thought of just everything just coming into existence from nothing is just kind of I feel like like that's harder to believe in uh, that that something just came into it, that everything just came into existence randomly uh, spontaneously from nothing that's just that's just harder to believe for me for me that's just harder to believe um uh, yeah i can't really wrap my my head around that like so like how do you get something from nothing um uh, something had to have created it um and what i believe is that something is uh is god uh, and and uh, God created it. 
that God created the universe, that he created the cosmos, he created this world and earth and life and everything in it. And he masterfully planned and designed everything so that life can flourish. Um, life can flourish. And that's why we can see in creation, that's why we can see in created things, things his attributes, his wonders, even though you may not read the Bible, even though you may not know oh, of God, you can still see in nature, you can still see in creation, you can still see in things, things the hand of God. And, and so that's the point of Flip the Script is taking mass media, taking these things, things and seeing the invisible hand of God, Romans one twenty in those things and just kind of shedding light into it or not or maybe it is something wicked something impure and that we should avoid it um, um, as well well and so yeah so that's the point of flip the script is the hopefully you know, that you may come to see and may come to know and take a glimpse of of what I believe in in God in Jesus uh, and know of the gospel story in a different way that may be familiar to you um, so going forward right, I'm going to be entering the series of flip the script that is that I'm calling the gospel according to Disney so I'm going to go through um, Walt Disney movies Walt Disney animation movies more specifically and just it's kind of going through how they tie in into the Bible. It may not be the whole movie. It may be just parts of it. It may just be scenes, scenes, and just maybe allusion. Is that allusion where it references the Bible, or is that uh, I don't know the literary term for that. There's a literary term. Uh, can't remember. It's been a while since high school. Um, but there's a literary term where where they take um influence from the bible uh, and write it in uh, i believe it's allusions with an a i know it's an a word um i think it's uh i'm not sure uh, <laughs> i'm probably gonna look it up after this but yeah yeah so whether it's just a scene or a song or 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 just parts of the movie in general um you already heard me talk about Wally in the past and Lion King um, but this is mostly focusing on um, uh, Walt Disney Animation Studios um, I won't talk about Lion King again although that does follow under this umbrella uh, but then I'm go and so I'm gonna go through each movie according to release date so the first one so the next episode uh, we'll be talking about Snow White we'll be flipping the script on Snow White um, so yeah so that's uh, what's coming up in Flip the Script. Um, yeah, let's wrap things up. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I hope you're excited uh, for what's coming up, what's next. Um, chew on this. We're going to be t taking a deep dive into seasonings, about seasonings. Um, you get to learn more about pepper, um, the black pepper, not, 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 like the uh not the chilies um pepper peppers but like the sea berries black pepper peppercorns um <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that but yeah you get to learn more about pepper salt uh salt, um herbs differences of spices and herbs um, all kinds of seasoning. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go into that as well as talk about Disney movies um, <laughs> um, and uh, where that idea came from is um, there's actually a skit and you can look up on YouTube called "The Gospel According to Disney" and what they did was for the skit they took um, Disney songs and kind of mashed them together into the skit that told the gospel story and then I did my own version um, taking 
um, taking inspiration from that, I did my own version, kind of adding some of the newer songs that I thought fit well, well, and other songs that I thought fit well into kind of that gospel story. All right, and so I have my own version. Um, it's pretty long. <laughs> Um, if you think about it, but to tell like the full gospel story um, um, in such a short time is pretty difficult. Um, and so it's a pretty my I have a long version and I have a short version, and um, and, and I kind of and so like that I'm, I'm continuously updating as new movies come out, um, new songs come out, out uh, whether they if they fit it or not, and, and so that is updated as um disney grows in movies but if you want to know learn about that um look it up youtube just type in the gospel according to disney and you'll see a couple of skits it's um it's it's with that kind of soundtrack and that kind of idea uh, yeah so that's where this kind of came from um um, and so going forward, or then flip the script, we're going to be going through Disney movies, uh, anime, Disney animation movies. And, um, Pixar will be its own thing uh, in the future, maybe if we get to it, because uh, there's a there's a lot of Disney animated movies. Um, but yeah, um, and so until next time, I'll see y'all in. Two weeks uh, as always thank you so much if you stuck around this long uh, uh, thank you so much thank you for listening on Apple podcast or on YouTube as always YouTube will have timestamps for you to just kind of skip around to what you are interested in whether you just want to hear the chew on this or if you're interested in the flip the script and um, the timestamps are there for you as well and as always i love you thank you and i hope you have a jelly day bye